Everybody. This is Mira, also known as Mike, also known as Win5, Get One Free. And today, you um, are going to get to watch uh, New Amsterdam. So, I think where we'll start. It is, as is pretty typical in New Amsterdam, a rainy garbage day. It's cold, sitting at about uh, 42, 43 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside, um, give or take. Uh, humidity is, of course, at, uh, like, 100% because it's raining. Um, the canals are overflowing. And, of course, once again, it smells like garbage on the streets of New Amsterdam. We just had some pretty interesting things happen, including some interesting revelations that have happened. And I think where I want to start is I want to start with Lucky. Lucky, are you alone in your office right now? Or where are you, right? Okay, are you alone? Do you have anyone with you? Okay, you're going over the 3D render. And you and Cash haven't had like a full opportunity to go over the 3D render. Um, so, uh, you know, um, you're, you're probably trying to make heads or tails of it, but it's one of those situations where, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a lot. So, um, yeah, you're, you're kind of taking a look. It's, it's heads or tails. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you're, you're kind of looking through and you're seeing like, well, yeah, this is, What's up? Oh. No. Oh, there we go. Hooray! All right. We have Gunner. 
Okay, so in my office by myself. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, you're you're kind of trying to kind of get this. Um, yeah, I guess you're just trying to trying to make heads or tails of this, and you're you're finding it is not. It's not. Um, it's not working so great. You know what I mean. You saying I probably should have had Cash in here to help me then? Probably. Okay. Well, Cash is in here then. Okay. Um. Yeah, Cash. You uh. You get called to Lucky's office. You know. We can just say she's okay. been there. Yeah, yeah. Cash has sure. been there. So I'm watching you struggle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm it's like, probably a here. case where you would have been doing it all in the first place. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking you through. Oh, sorry. Let me get logged in real quickly. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm logged uh, in. You're okay. Good. You're good. Um, what is this? Beyond 20 wants to connect to that. No, stop it. So um, I'm like, okay, can you pull up the map for us again so I can yes. walk her through it? Absolutely. Okay. So pull to scene. And... Pull to scene. There you go. Matter of fact, I'll pull everyone to scene. Uh, activate. There we go. Everyone should be here. Uh, not all of you are going to have tokens, so you guys might be seeing a big old black void. Let's see here. Yep, that's a black void. Uh, well, let me see what I can do about that. And then I'm just said... uh, watching on stream. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you said just wander, but don't open any doors, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. How does that look, guys? Uh, I think Gunner and I can probably see pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Can we move our tokens? Yeah. You sh oh, unpause. Is this me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, there. No, that's you. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to, like, walk you through some of this. Okay. And be like, okay, so you're going to come to this big area here where they park their vans, and then it looks like you go into this door, and you go this way, and it's just, like, some stairs and a door over here. And, like, I'm just giving her the general layout, and I'm like, if you lose your bearings, you can focus on this point over here to get back in touch with where you're at. And Right. We're just sort of like I'm guiding her through this area. Is there anything specific I can point out to her? So things you want to note: this area. Do you see where I'm moving my mouse? Mm -hmm. This area is your um, your load in zone where you need to go and get the uh, the server from, right? Oh, yeah. Um, it's like in a garage that's been turned into a server room. That's the only real piece of intel you have on this place other than the layout, which okay. the layout is important. Right, right. <clears throat> we, but we can't see anything other than out here on the street, can we? No. Current? Okay. Mm -mm. Um, so maybe we have like a general idea of what the inside of this place looks like, but yeah, it's like and, super vague. And oh, I'm and it's... Of, it's mm -hmm. just like a square room that you kind yeah. of have a, a look at. Is it's like you can tell in there there's like a fifteen by fifteen foot room, mm -hmm. and um, like the server's going to be there, and you think that there's some cooling mounted on the top of the roof to make sure that the you know servers don't overheat and fry. Right, for sure, and we definitely want to keep those alive. So, knowing that we're going to have to have some sort of power source. Surely they would be connected to like you. Oh, you won't need you won't need a power source. No, you'll you'll be okay on that one. Okay, will we be yeah. able to pull the servers directly, or are we just pulling data off the servers? You're gonna pull the data off the servers. So the nature of it is essentially all of these uh, eddies are all these euro dollars are in kind of like a weird pseudo transit state. They are held on a private server because they are essentially a cryptocurrency. They're held mm -hmm. on that specific blockchain. You would have to introduce them into the blockchain as a whole. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. So I'll expositionally tell her that part too. 
and mm. um, then be like, so what, where would you like to, when do you want to do this? <clears throat> and I think I'm probably going to produce like a fob, like, and hold mm-hmm. it between my two fingers, like my first and my middle finger and be mm-hmm. like, we can just stick it on this. Yeah, Absolutely. Lucky. Sorry, muted. Oh no. Sorry. But <clears throat> go ahead. Okay. Oh, just I got your fob and here's the general schematics. Mm-hmm. And when do you want to go? <sighs> Soon. As soon as we can handle. As soon as we can handle what? Cut out on me a little bit. As soon as we can handle. Okay. We still have issues to deal with. Yeah. Hmm. Like operator or more than operator? Well, well suzerain's kind of a mess. We have suzerain. That is a mess. Yeah. We have Trinix. That is, uh, well. He's a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> You're not there. Quiet. No. You're and GM, can Suzerain, however much time it's been, I don't know how much time it's been, but it's Suzerain... been like maybe four hours max. Oh, only four hours? Okay. Yeah. Well, I am I'm letting Suzerain stay the night at my place. And okay. as many nights as she needs. Because yeah. sometimes that's hard to be alone and I feel for her. And she's just a kid. She's brilliant, mm-hmm. but she's just a kid. Absolutely. So, and I don't like, I try not to treat her like anything but like a small adult. You know what yes. I mean? No, like, I hear you. You try and give her autonomy and stuff. Exactly. But it's like, listen, if you need people, we can be those people. It's okay. Mm, you don't have mm. to do it yourself. <clears throat> so whether she takes me up on it or not, it's up to her. But like the door is always open at this point. Sure. And I tell Lucky that, you know, we're, she's in my place and she's really messy. She's going to s- hopefully stay. We offered for her to stay. Um, we'll see if she does, but she's she's in a bad way. I've already set up an appointment with Doctor okay. Galt. Okay. Hey, do you think you could maybe get me in sometime? She just kind of looks at you. Do I know how to take that look you're giving me? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> What's it look like? <laughs> I you. Th- 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 there's a role for a reason, I guess. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure, well, uh, right. a human perception. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be so bad. Hold on, I gotta open up my little sheet. Where are you? I know you're around here. There you are. Human <laughs> perception. Oh, buddy, I bet I don't even have anything for it. Human perception. Oh, shit, I might still be stoned and can't read either. Hang on. (laughs) I'll get there, I promise. Oh, fuck. If I sort by name, it'll do it alphabetically, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now there you it just is. have to remember your alphabet. <laughs> that is that is rare. That is yeah. a rare thing. An <clears throat> eight. No. What's an eight getting? No. No. Do I need to roll to okay. oppose that? No. You have okay. an inscrutable look on you. <laughs> okay. I I'm gonna just I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna be like, what? What's the? Listen. Sometimes I need to also get my head on straight too. It happens. She shrugs. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't you ever go see the therapist? More blank look. <laughs> uh, just lucky see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, peanut gallery, quiet. <laughs> lucky did see a therapist once. What, when she was dropping Dove off? <laughs> No, she actually went to one appointment with Galt. I'm just giving shit. 
<laughs> point, at what point do you become a cyber psycho? Would your humanity have to drop to zero? zero. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. I mean, I guess we could wait if you want. Just keep but... in mind, the lower you go, the more you start seeing issues arise. Yeah. I'm... Become shit. There are other My ways to lose humanity right. than um, than uh, cyberware, too. Really? Yes. Uh, <sighs> in, in some ways, humanity works like... Um, or at least in Reddit did. I don't know. Do they do that in 2020, Mike? Um, yeah, no. I Well, I do it like that. Yeah. Okay, because in so you can... You can... Shocking okay. acts and shit that's way out there. Like, you know, if you just stumble into an alley full of dead bodies and you've never seen that before. Yeah, you could lose some humanity from that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. And actually, <laughs> Trinix, do you want to roll me a D10? <laughs> Cheers. It's a good reminder. Thank you. Got kind oh, of caught no. up last session. Oh, Trinix, wow. you lost a humanity from that. <laughs> from that encounter that you guys had yesterday, or last session. Still technically be today. Um, but, uh... Alright, so five entrances. Yes. I believe, yeah. And we'll want to pull around. Um, let's see here. Probably from the back. Hmm. I think that's the only the one back. wide enough to take a vehicle. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, if we backed in, but how 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 great of a driver is seen? Like. I'm not dissing on the driving school. <laughs> I just want to know, like, is this going to be cool? Because if we um, need to fucking jet, that's, like... Th that is an out loud thing. That's that's not me. That That's lucky laughing. It's not a very nice laugh. It's okay. a condescending, sharp, hollow laugh. Scene okay. feels offended and, and they don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Like, it just pissed me off. Like, what the heck? No, I wasn't trying to. I just, I really wasn't trying Someone to. Someone cast I friends. Like, I was gonna say, uh -huh. uh, she, she just looks and says, "That was." That is why scene was a part of our original group in the first place. Hey, that's a, that's cool. That's hey. cool. scene seems like a stellar driver. Hmm. Don't insult them with that word. If you're, be careful. You don't stellar like doesn't stellar? begin to describe. Okay. <laughs> I just won't say anything about their driving. How about that? That is probably wise. Yeah, because I feel like I'm treading way too lightly on this, or it's just a delicate. Anyway, uh, cool. <clears throat> so. Do we have like armored vehicles or at least one armored vehicle that we could do an in and out? I think we have an armored vehicle. We have Scene's vehicle, that's it. Is it the minivan? <laughs> Scene's eye Scene, your eyebrow just twitches and you don't know why. <laughs> When's the last time you were in an, a minivan with a grenade launcher? I mean, armor. listen, it's. It's a it's a pimp minivan, okay? Like lots ah. of room for activities. I'm I'm living activities. for it. <laughs> it's great. Um, yeah. Where's this cool. unbridled rage coming from? I don't understand. Like <laughs> oh, no. scene just swerved into a pedestrian just out of anger. Doesn't know why. <laughs> into a pedestrian? Yeah, just <laughs> See, scene is at the bar, and you're just, like, about to take a drink, and your hand just closes so tightly it breaks the fucking glass. You're like, huh, I wonder why that happened. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's forward thinking. Uh, I just need to be able to access it. If you can keep people off my back long enough to get everything on the swab, I think we'll be okay. Hmm. But doesn't your operator guard this area? Or not? Are we not supposed to know that? 
We are. Okay. He does. So, that's going to be a fun fight. It's going to be something, that's for certain. Yeah. I still want to implant a bug in him. I think it would be really fun. Like, Why haven't you started on it? Well, I have. Uh, but I'm not really sure how to insert it into the code yet. So I didn't think it would be viable. Um, well, you have 24 hours. Make it happen. She says, pulling the harness off her head. Okay. I'll do my best. Just don't count on it. It's really just an option. Do, do you have a, don't. Like a, do you have a plan B if this doesn't work? Die. She says, getting up and uh, grabbing her cane. Wow, oh, I wish you had told me the severity of what I was working on sooner. Uh, okay, you, great. You I'm not gonna understand go. the severity of the issue before or after? <clears throat> um, no, I, I did. I just kind of thought you had more of a plan than just... As close as you could get to a human cyborg was killed by this thing. Uh, yeah. Do you really think that any plan is going to work with this? I, well, I mean, you have to come in with a positive attitude so you can get positive results. She just kind yeah. of closes her eyes for a moment. And then says, what am I doing? This is my office. You may leave. I was already, okay. <laughs> Girl, bye. <clears throat> All right, excellent. So Cash leaves, and maybe we leave kind of on a uh, on a uh, look of a bemused Lucky, um, kind of um, sitting at her desk, you know. Um, and what what kind of pose do we leave her in? No, oh, she's leaning on her cane, watching Cash leave. Okay, yeah. We are going to cut. Huh? Cash is scurrying out because you said 24 hours and her shit's not done. Yeah. And I guess she's that got we'll... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. She's just I was going to say, I guess we'll follow Cash, actually. Cash, <laughs> oh, you head out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, do you go to your workstation or the runner's closet? Uh, well, first I got to find Trixie. Okay. Because... You... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Um, yeah, Trixie's just in your guys' room. Okay. Um, and everybody's like, Trix, I need help, and you're so smart. Uh, and you, have to you go into the room, and you see Trixie and, um, Suzerin, uh, and they're, uh, they're eating, um, what did we say that they were gonna eat last week? Remember, we didn't, we didn't- Burgers, I think. Us. Yeah, she asked for burgers, so that's probably yeah, what she Yeah, they're, they're eating some burgers, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Trixie oh. is kind of just doing her absent-minded thing on the computer, and you come in. Suzerin, as soon as you open the door, because I'm assuming you, like, scurry into your room. And I didn't really think about Suzerin being there in the moment. Yeah, so you, like, way. scurry into the room, and the door opens, and she jumps a fucking mile high, you know oh, what I mean? Right, I'm going to be like whoa so sorry it's just me nothing's going on i'm so sorry and Please she don't. kind of meekly you know looks at her at you and then at her burger and goes it's uh it's, it's fine and then continues to eat her burger okay i'm gonna like slow but long stride it over to trixie <laughs> yeah <laughs> She kind of looks at you like, what the fuck are you doing? Kind of, you know? Yeah. Like, you startled her. You're not the boogeyman. Like, <laughs> I know, I know. It's terrible. I'm just like, now I'm trying to tread lightly. And yeah, yeah. I'm going to, like, if she's sitting at the computer, I'm going to, like, stand, like, off to the side of her, and I'm going to lean down, and I'm going to put my arm around her shoulder, and I'm going to be like, Trix, you are the smartest person I know. Can you help me finish a virus? And also help me find a way to implant it into someone wirelessly? She kind of goes, uh, well, finishing a virus, it, um, yeah, I could, uh, I could do that. As for wirelessly implanting it, I don't, not really sure. And she's like, she's like, 
Well, I might be able to find something for you, but uh, what do you need the virus to do? Well, I need to shut down everything that is cybernetic about someone, which is a tall ask, but I figure if we do it like a worm, then the worm will continue to replicate into its system and then just overflow all of its memory. I feel like kinda if we goes. Can... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, kind of goes like, uh, yeah, okay, well, that that's a solid start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have a set idea on how to get it uploaded. I have a theory about how their connections work. Um, I think that they are like airdropped data. And I'm trying to find a way to kind of cut off that flow from their data and replace it with this data. And I don't even know how long it would work. I don't know anything about the systems. All I'm thinking is make it as big and mean and fast as possible. She goes, all right, um, well, fuck it. Let's do this. And let's get a roll from you, Cash. Okay. Let's get a... Ba, 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 ba. Programming? And programming would be perfect. Okay. Okay. 23. Nice. So yeah. you and Trixie, over the period of, you know, maybe an hour or two, uh, mm -hmm. work back and forth. And finally, <clears throat> you get it sealed and packaged. Trixie goes, all right, okay. Worm, it's going to overload capacitors to make it so that any general cybernetics are going to go into lockdown mode to do emergency coolant, flood the emergency coolant system, and on top of that, it's got a couple denial arcs just so it's going to be able to stop anyone from trying to decode it. All we I'm need now is a name. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, ooh, such a good one. I don't know. Do you have any ideas? You are the mastermind behind it. She goes, mm -hmm. uh, she goes, um, probably, uh, Mia Moore, I simply helped you do the bitch coding. <laughs> um, y well, y yeah, yeah, you did. And I love you for it. You're amazing. Um, God, let's call it Sizzler. <laughs> goes all right sizzler it is and uh you get a load up of sizzler and she's like all right now the thing to note about this this ain't exactly gonna be easy to replicate i mean and she kind of pulls out some hardware pulls out a big chunky fucking uh big chunky fucking um hard drive and goes i'm gonna have to store it on this I don't know how we're going to airdrop it, but I do know this hard drive's probably going to be fried once we activate it because, well, it's it's really just going to go. Yeah. I would suggest we don't uh, make copies of this because I don't want to accidentally blow up our base. Of course. Right. Definitely not. We would never do something like that. Are you absolutely sure? Because, I mean, wouldn't that be fun? Not she's here. Like, she's like... <laughs> She's like, um, she's probably like a Luna. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want any of this shit on our hands in case White Wolf comes through. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Just one and done. The one teeny tiny atomic bomb and done. I'm loving it. I love you. You're amazing. You're yeah. Amazing. She kind of, yeah. She kind of goes, I, uh, I know I'm amazing. Right. I don't have to tell you because you're fucking amazing. I knew this <laughs> already. Can I have a burger? <laughs> yeah, and, and fucking um, Suzerain is like, you two are cute and oh. uh, also annoying. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no. Um, you know, uh, at this point, you guys have been working for like an hour or two. Any burgers that are still in the room are cold. She probably hands you a burger. The tomato is just disgusting. The synthetic tomato, mind you. None of these veggies are fucking fresh. Um, 
the synthetic tomato is like bleeding into the fucking the fucking meat that is you know made out of insect uh you know the bun is made out of cricket flour you know the whole thing is not exactly appetizing to someone like us but to someone in a cyberpunk world that's completely normal right <clears throat> i will definitely take a few bites out of it and do my best and then just be like you know i think i gotta go back to work <laughs> yeah i gotta go and find uh, a way to get this air dropped um are you guys good do you need anything uh trixie kind of pulls you aside and is like hey um, so whenever you guys are doing this thing, um, I'm not going to be able to come with you. Uh, I got to take care of her. Oh, yeah. I don't think I want you to go. This is going to be really grossly dangerous. She kind of nods and goes, okay, well, if it's really grossly dangerous, you know that you got to, you got to talk to me. And you gotta make sure that you get back safe, okay? Do my best. I'll do and my she, best. And she says, do better than your best. And remember, when you're out there, it's just you. I don't give a good goddamn about anyone else out there. You get home, even if it means someone else doesn't. Got it? She's gonna take her hands and be like, I got it. I got it. Yeah. She's like, good. And uh, she gives you, like, a quick kiss, and then she's like, uh, before you go, uh, you know, come and tell me that you're going, but um, just don't, don't leave the building. Don't leave the building until I talk to her? Don't leave the building unless you have to. And she oh. kind of nods back at the at the door, like, as a very, like, you know what just happened sort of thing. Right. Right. Yeah, Cash will nod. <laughs> Cash will... Yep. <clears throat> I know. <clears throat> I'll stay close. I'm just gonna go down to the runner's closet for a while and try and figure out a way to get this inserted. All right. Excellent. So, I think from there, we are gonna cut to uh, Pain Dexter. What is Pain Dexter doing right now? It's been about four hours since you were called to get in that van and go and exfil those kids. Yeah, and we managed to bring them home in one piece. True. Well, that that's, sounds mostly. like it deserves a drink. Absolutely. Right on. You're at the bar, and is this, is there anyone else at the bar? Yeah, I mean, scenes there, as we scenes as we bar. established. Yeah, yeah. I was just goofing. Scene could be anywhere if you want. <laughs> but um, um, I like the fact that Scene was just at the bar drinking and actually did not. Maybe not the glass break was just like got rationally upset about something and couldn't figure out. Why. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and kind of as as you guys are at the bar, um, you know, uh, you guys, um. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe, not Serum, uh, who am I thinking? God damn it. Scav, Jesus Christ, my brain. Um, Scav is at the, uh, is at the bar, you know, and, uh, he's, he's drinking a beer or two with you guys. Uh, he is not as spaced as he was beforehand because, you know, some bad shit just went down, so he's a lot less face you know and he's kind of like kind of looking at you guys and goes so uh this guy fucking throwing these cars around and shit what do you think the deal is with that you know as he's like drinking a beer just like making idle chit chat i think it's some crazy dangerous well jedi bullshit <laughs> kind of goes damn i didn't know we'd be fucking fighting obi-wan dick obi kind of takes another drink <laughs> drinks as well yeah <laughs> like fuck yeah kind of looks at pain and goes you uh you watch movies 
<laughs> looks at Payne and goes, you watch movies? You should know how to deal with this. What's the fucking, what's the protocol for dealing with stupid Jedi bullshit? Order 66? Order 66 what? Uh, basically, uh, you have to have a whole bunch of their, his allies attack him. Because, but we can't do that. Yeah, does this thing even have friends? Does this thing know what the word friend is? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, it's pretty fucked up. Whatever's going on. Kind of. But, at the end of the day, it's going to be us who are going to have to clean up this mess. So, uh, friends and I, anytime we would try some new shit, We'd always divvy up first, so, uh, scene, you get my drum set, uh, pain, you get lucky. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wide-eyed, just like you did not. <laughs> kind of looks at scene and goes, what, did you want to divvy first? You can go ahead and divvy first. <laughs> I get, um... And and how how do you think Lucky's gonna feel that you just offered her up like food? He's like, I wasn't offering up for like offering her up like food. I love her. I love her dearly. Some shit happens. Someone's gotta take care of her. Lord knows she's not gonna fucking do it herself. Kind of takes a drink and goes, <laughs> you know how many times a day I make sure she doesn't accidentally kill herself. She's the most organized person when it comes to this shit. The other day, she just kind of left the oven on. I came home an hour later. There was a small fire in the apartment. I had to put it out. Mm -hmm. You sure that's all accidental? <laughs> kind of goes, well, I asked her about it, and she said she didn't use the oven. So, fuck if I know. Maybe it isn't. Takes like a drink. Kind of. Like, oh, go ahead. No, it's just, just high. Uh, scene's just head in the drink, like, oh no. Yeah, it's like, not really being talked about like this. Yeah, and looks over at uh, looks over at Pain and goes, "By you, say you bite it, you get iced, whatever. Room temp purchase, you know. You got anything worth anything?" I got a really nice pair of arms. Seems a little ghoulish. Okay, I've got a uh, pretty good collection of uh, movies. See, now that shit's cool. You know who I think you should leave those to? You should leave those to Serum. I feel like he'd appreciate that shit. Yeah, yeah, he would. Mm. Mm. See? And he looks over at scene and goes... It ain't that hard. You do something that's about to get you possibly room tempt. You figure your orders. No, mine's easy. It goes back to the family. That makes sense. Makes sense. Kinda takes a drink. Goes, Hey, bartender. I know you're listening. And fucking Pierre comes by and goes, <laughs> uh, Of course, I'm always listening. And he goes, Make sure that shit's written down in your head. Chance all three of us ain't gonna make it. And th this is just the most casual conversation in the world for Scav, you know? God. Well, he might not make it. I'll make it. Always. Kind of looks over you and goes, You've been doing this for longer than me. You sound like a fucking amateur right now. Big <laughs> fucking grin on his face as he takes another drink. Oh, I'll smile back. Like, no, I just know how good I am. <laughs> Take a drink. This point, this point, uh, he sets the thing down and goes, remember that big motherfucker who came in? You know, one who fucking German fuck? Uh. He's talking about detergent. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you were there. 
dude looked bulletproof till he wasn't, right? I've seen you pull some shit. Yo, know, I don't know if you ever heard of this guy named Dale Earnhardt, but uh, he drove real good too, and uh, he died in a stock car. <laughs> I think my car's a little more sturdier. True. It can roll quite a bit. Kind of goes, true. But also, you're going against something a bit sturdier than a stock car, too. Just saying. Fan Dexter waves down the bartender for a refill. Oh, <laughs> Car yeah. Carpe diem. Seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary. Oh, yeah, definitely. You get a new drink poured, and what are you drinking? Probably something like Long Island iced tea, except for with less non-alcoholic items in it. So, just no Coca-Cola in it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they call it uh, Pierre. It's probably nicknamed in New Amsterdam as a blind fuck. Probably. Um, yeah, so you get a, you get a blind fuck. And, uh, you know, um, Scav gets another beer and goes, fuck, I'll drink to that one. Live while you can, die when you gotta. Cheers. Cheers. No, yeah, fucking downs his beer, you know. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's about that point that uh, maybe we cut away from you guys at the bar kind of bullshitting before a big job. And uh, we cut to Trinix. Trinix, where are you? In the med area. Okay. Going over and, Spade. Go I want, want to go over Spade's notes and just kind of focusing on that. And off to the side, have that whole DNA thing just kind of sitting there. So go over some notes. Look at that. Go over some notes and look at the DNA thing, like back and forth every 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. And every time you look, it just keeps coming up. Your guys' parents had to have been the same. Because, you know, your genotypes and phenotypes are not the same. You are different people. But, I mean, just looking at the genes that are uh, put uh, into you guys, totally fucking... Totally the same sources, you know. I, I gotta figure it. But this is important to bring him. But that's cool. Yeah. Gotta and... bring him back. <laughs> gotta resolve that. You know, he's just brain, scattered brain, trying to do 30,463 things at once. Oh, absolutely. And while you're doing that, there's this really fucking annoying tapping noise, right? Like, it just keeps... It, like, it it's persistent, you know? And, like, finally, you're like, you know, maybe, maybe you, like, look up to investigate at this point, and you see that stronger than ever, um, fucking, um, uh, Hank, his uh, finger is just tapping, just tapping away very loudly. Man, I wish I knew Morse code. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. And you're not sure if it's in a pattern or not. But yeah, you, you do see his brain waves are fluctuating a little bit. Still alpha coma, but in that weird bridge between an alpha coma and not an alpha coma, where it's like, oh, there's a one second spike of brain wave every time he taps his finger, you know. Yeah, it takes a lot of energy to do that. But hmm. I don't know. Like look at the difference scanned and the information in that to see because there's no way of getting inside of his brain without jumping in True. and that was frowned upon <laughs> so, he, 
He's just sitting there thinking out loud, like talking to himself, trying to figure out what to do about that, and focusing on everything. He's like, there's so much going on. Okay, we have video footage of that happening, so we can tell when that happens. We'll record that. Um, this research helps bring him, you know, he's just not, he can't focus on one thing at once. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, as, as you're kind of going through this weird spiral of figuring out, you know, what, what the hell is going on and trying to patch together the, the, um, biology and all of that stuff, I think that now would probably be an appropriate time that, um, like you guys are still accepting people, right? I mean, yeah, I I would assume so. Yeah, I didn't remember if uh, Lucky put a kibosh on that specifically or not. I don't think she did. Sorry. Uh, Accepting sick cases. Sick cases? Yeah, like the hospital. People coming into the hospital? Mm, No, I don't believe so. I thought you stopped doing that. Okay. I was going to say, I couldn't remember if we'd stopped that because of the big weird robot guy or not no i don't i don't think so i think that she just told you hey don't go out to that place again like you don't leave the building unless i tell you sort of thing um yeah you get someone who comes in they look well i mean suzerain i guess just like got a clothes change but you know she walks in hey how you doing uh, you know, and she goes, uh, she goes, um, oh, I'm fine. Kind of sits down and looks over and goes, uh, what, uh, what are you working on? Well, uh, we've got this over here with the whole DNA thing related to him. And then we have the research from him. Um, and then we have, um, um, to him in the corner, he's like aggressive. Like the brainwaves, check that out. Like the brainwave moves when he hits his finger, and he's it, it's kind of loud. Um, but then we have this over here where I'm related to this dude, and then we have the research that he did. And yeah, his finger, like he did, I just keep going over and over and over the same thing until she stops me. And uh, maybe, maybe as you're uh, doing this, you look over and make me a perception ch- uh, awareness notice. Yeah, you notice this person looks a lot like Suzerain, but is not Suzerain. Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, and then kind of pauses for a second and really, like, thinks about what she's going to say. And then she goes, uh, hi, I'm, uh, Belle. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Suzerain's sister. I, uh, I've heard a lot about you. Well, you just learned a lot more that you didn't know before. I'm related to that person. Who did this and, uh, but, Yeah, she kind of, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Kind of goes, uh, well, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, I heard some shit went down. I, I don't know what went down, but I, um, I heard she was doing stuff around here and I wanted to, uh, go and check in on her. And, um, you know, I wanted to thank you guys for, you know, helping out and that sort of thing. Not really sure where she is, but, um. Wait, we have this group thing. Anybody? I'm going to do a message in the whole big group thing. Anybody know where Suzerain is? Yeah, and Cash, at this point, you would get the message. Anybody knows where Suzerain is? Yeah, I'll respond. Um, I do. Who's asking? Huh. Well, technically, I did because I wrote the message, but um, her sister's here. What's her sister's name? I forgot already. Uh, Belle. Belle. LA. <clears throat> Does her sister want to see her? Yeah, she came into the medical area. She just wanted to check to see how she's doing. Sure, sure thing. <clears throat> I'll get right back with you. And then she's going to message Trixie. Trixie, will you ask Susan if she... Wait a minute, can I 
I can message Susur indirectly, can't I, or no? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do that instead. I'll, so I'll message Susur and I go, hey, uh, there's a person here. She says she's your sister. Her name's Belle. Do you want to see her? Do you know someone named Belle? Oh, you get the response, I don't want to see Belle. Just okay. like no, like flat, normal, punctuated sentence. Okay. I will, uh, I will say, okay. And I will message Trinix back and go, she's not available right now. Uh, but if she, if Belle leaves her contact information, we'll have Susur and get in touch with her when she's available. Okay. Um, B Bella, she's busy. If you have a way of her contacting you, wait, I got a piece of paper here somewhere. Right and she just rolls her eyes and goes, are you going to fucking play my sister's secretary? She can't hide from me forever. I personally don't have a clue where she's at, but I think other people know where she's at. at this person. Mm -hmm. huh? Nothing, go ahead. And at, before you can even finish your sentence, she just like rolls her eyes and just walks out of the hospital. Um, have a good day! Yeah. And uh, those of you at the bar, you see Suzerin in different clothes um, walk through the bar. Of course, the uh, bar is completely empty. But uh, yeah, she she's kind of walking around. And maybe she sits next to you guys at the bar and is like, hey. Wow. Wait, she's sitting at the bar? Uh... Yeah, she walks up to the bar and sits down and goes, hey. I just... I look over. I'm just up. Yeah. Um, and now would be an appropriate time for awareness notice checks from you guys, by the way. If you awareness like. notice or human perception? Awareness notice. You sure it's not human perception? Human perception is to read someone's mood. It also is to read someone as a person. Is it? Yeah, like if they're like their body habits and stuff. I would. Assume. Oh, yeah. Human perception would be good, too. Um, yeah, uh, you... You I will, instantly... I'll make awareness first, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both of you instantly clock that this is not Suzerain. Yeah, I just leave it at hey. Yeah. She uh, orders a water and is like, uh, so what's up? What's the next move? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of how I want to handle this. Uh, hmm. Should I kill Next... uh, her sister? Should I kill That's a bad sister? idea. She's 14. Well, I don't think you're that there. That is true. Um, a so twin sister looks like. I'll just be like, next move is to figure out why you're over here trying to pretend someone you're not and uh, thinking you're slick. Kind of is like, looks at you and goes, well, first of all, I am slick. Second of all, where's my fucking sister? Hell if I know. Last thing I know, she ran out. Kind of like, listen, I know some shit happened with her today. I just fucking... Can I... I just need to talk to her. I just, I just want to talk to him. I just want to yeah, talk right? to him. I, ju I just want to shoot him. <laughs> right? Anyway. Is there a reason that she hasn't mentioned you before? We don't necessarily get along so well i'll be the first to tell you that if she's not going to mention me which is kind of fucked up but i don't talk to her much so mm. kind of kind of shrugs and goes well you asked and like drinks the water that she's given by pierre yeah. looking at her can i tell if she's a twin or like an older younger sister oh she's a twin for sure okay. she's a twin. The only, like, signifying difference is she has a bir uh, birthmark, a really faded one, but a birthmark on the upper right-hand side of her cheek. She also wears her hair different, usually, you can tell, from your awareness notice and also your proclivity to disguise yourself. Uh, yeah. You kind of ha see the telltale marks of, like, oh, yeah, she's wearing her hair down like Suzerain does, but just the way her hair crimps, she usually wears it in a ponytail. Okay. I'll uh, put 
put because did were you you asked in the group chat and you responded in the group chat yeah cash oh yeah for sure just yeah. I, the sustering conversation was a private one right now uh-huh. yeah i forget that one no i was just like i'll pull out my agent because i don't have internal mm-hmm. and i just like <laughs> uh what do i say probably just like Suzerain twin wanting to see her sister. What's up with that? <laughs> Why is she uh, avoiding her? I'll respond and say, um, I don't have details. I asked if she wanted to see her. She said no, and I'm respecting her autonomy. Okay. I'll uh, I'll literally just pass out. I'm, I'm just going to be like, apparently she doesn't want to see you right now. I can guarantee she's in good hands, and she'll be taken care of. More than just physically, she'll be taken care of emotionally. It seems, since you responded, I'm like, oh, she's with yeah. Cash, probably. Uh, ow. And she remember. looks and goes, take taking care of emotion. What the fuck are you guys? Some kind of fucking cult? <clears throat> no, there was just some bad oh. trauma with the medical stuff. Oh, okay. What? She cut open another fucking body, and then a chest burster come out or some shit. <laughs> I heard some bad shit happen, and I wanted to talk to my sister. She's not responding to my texts, hasn't done so for a couple weeks. I come to a sketchy-ass bar, no one's fucking in here, and we're in red light, and my sister is apparently being emotionally taken care of. Cool, I get it. You killed Suzerain. Neat. Good to know. (laughs) I just drink my whiskey. (laughs) Do I want to assault a 14-year-old? Do I want to assault a (laughs) 14-year-old? Do I want to assault a 14-year-old? Yeah, and, and at this Computer, point, I need your if assistance. We, if we killed your sister, what what would you say to us, you know? I've already the dealt with so much who killed trauma. your sister. That and wouldn't just, make us want to kill someone who looks exactly like your sister. Goes, no, hmm, maybe you need someone to replace her. <laughs> then we would have given you the information you asked for when you asked... What the deal is, or what the next step is, whatever. Scav I'll is know. like, Scav is like, how fucking old are you? Are you, wait, okay, so if you're a twin, you're fourteen too. What are you doing in a fucking bar? What's <laughs> my sister doing in a bar? I'll uh, I'll put up my finger, I'm like, look, your sister is running a free clinic for people to pro- gain get medical assistance without having to pay an arm and a leg. Yeah, uh, there was stuff that went down. Uh, it is private stuff, and she was hurt, not physically, just she experienced some uh, unfortunate. That's a, that's, no, that's she was hurt though. physically. Oh, right, right. Sorry. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm telling the truth. So yeah, like, yeah. Uh, she was hurt, um, and she's getting treatment, or she received treatment, uh, but she wants some time alone. I'll take your number. I mean, she has it, but I'll take your number, and if I can get through to her. I'll give you a call, but she is certainly not dead. She's like, she kind of looks at you. She kind of gives you the stare down for a second, and you recognize that look. That's the same stare down you saw Suzerain give Lucky. Yeah. You know, and uh, I will. This is a, will, a hereditary stare down. With that stare down, be like, look, I know family is the most important thing, so I know how much she means to you. Mm-hmm. I can't. I won't force her to do anything she doesn't want to do, but. I can at least try to nudge her in the right direction. Is there a reason you're rolling intimidate, Amy? I'm not. Am I? Did I roll intimidate? I'm sorry. You did roll intimidate. I'm sorry. I I thought you guys... Intimidating Brian. I I guess. Uh I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. (laughs) Yeah, and she... Amy just comes storming in. Get the fuck out of this bar! (laughs) Yeah. I could. (laughs) And she kind of goes... She kind of goes... Okay. Fine. Actually, I will... Mm -hmm. uh, I guess make a persuasion. Sure. There you go. Yeah. She looks and goes, okay, fine. Whatever. Kind of um puts uh puts puts um she writes down her number and goes, If everyone in this bar is my sister's secretary, she must be the most important fucking person on the planet. And writes sure, it down. Sure. Now I make sh- like a tree well, well, no, and no. get out of here. As as she's writing it, I'm like, honestly. The things she does for others, she is quite important. Kind of writes it down and goes, yep, little Miss Surgeon, 
super important. And then hands you the paper, and then goes, all right, well, whenever the princess decides that it is fine to talk to her hag sister, have her give me a call. And uh, she turns around on her heel and starts walking the fuck out. After she leaves, I down the rest of my whiskey. I'm just like, God damn, fucking teenagers. At this point, uh, Scav kind of looks and goes, is it inappropriate to call a 14-year-old a bitch? And then just, like, takes a drink. I mean, I Only when they're whiskey. acting like a bitch. <laughs> oh, cool. God, she was a bitch. I mean, I think everyone at that age is, but... <laughs> mm kind of shrugs like all right and um you know uh at this point we're gonna cut back to uh gonna cut back to um cash cash you've been doing some research you found a hookup yes you found someone who is selling what they are calling a they're calling it a hard tap, right? Yeah. Essentially what it is, you're not really finding any good tech to airdrop this uh, code, but this person, essentially what it is, is it is a direct interface. Someone stabs it into a plug, that instantly becomes, uh, it instantly uploads whatever program. Okay. Uh, and they're willing to sell it, part with it, but it's 5,000 eddies. Oh, shit. Oh, or, no. Or he'll give it to you for free, but you got to take something else with you. Oh, man. What's the something else? Have they specified? They have not. Oh, see, here's the thing with free deals. They look too good to be true. Um, they, okay. They're they going by the name of Gecker. Gecker. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, I'm going to message the entire group, okay. except for Suseren. And I, I don't know if... I would throw Trinix in there. I, I guess I would. I'm not going to mm-hmm. fuck with Tusserin. Um, And I'm going to include Trixie on okay. it as well. And I'm going to priority tag Lucky. Okay. And I'm going to go, hey guys, so I think I found a way to get this virus done. And then in parentheses, be like, by the way, Lucky, the virus is done. It's, pre- it's beautiful and super dangerous. And um, <laughs> then I'm going to be like, I it is it is either five thousand eddies, which I do not have, or oh to get this thing installed. Or it's free with a catch, which means I have to carry something. Don't know what the something is, and I would prefer to pass around the tithe plate so that we can all pitch in and buy this piece. Like, no strings attached. Scav immediately airdrops you 100 euro dollars. Oh, he's a good man. Not a lot, honestly. (laughs) Yeah, it's not, but I appreciate it. Yeah. He's like, lunch money for a couple days. Hope it helps, winky face. I love him. I'll send back like a, like a fucking, the, the emoji with the hands out, which is, I guess, supposed to be a hug, but I always thought of it as like, uh. Uh, jazz hands. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. <laughs> jazz hands. So a um, hundred from Scav. Um. So real talk among players for a second. We don't have five thousand eddies to scrape together, do we? I have like two hundred and forty that I can <clears throat> throw in. I have less I than two hundred. I have twenty eight hundred. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so much money. You save your money so well. It really isn't, though. It's not so much money. You guys are so desperately broke. (laughs) So broke. 
<laughs> That's what this is supposed to help with. I got 415 if you want it all. What am I going to do with it? There, have 415. Oh, damn. I'm just like, so I respond back with, and how long have you known this guy? About five minutes. True. <laughs> do I want to, do I want to assault a person? Mm -hmm. Have you? I, I will respond again. Have you checked the code? <clears throat> it's a hard line, so it's or, actually a device. Have you tested its functionality? Oh, uh, have I, GM? Uh, you know what this thing is. You don't have it in hand, of course. You're doing all this dealing on the dev, right? This is not a meat space right. deal. You know, uh, it will be it will be a meat space deal when you agree to do the deal. You know, um, but yeah, you know what it does. You're looking at the schematics. It should work. Yeah, so I'll I'll let them know that, and or let them know that, and then mention I'm not giving over any money unless I know this works. To Gecker. To Gecker, yeah. He goes. He goes. I don't know what you want from me. I sent you the schematics. I uh, want to confirm the device works before I hand over five grand. He already sent the schematics. Yeah, he sent. Um, he, he would send like edited schematics, like redacted. So oh, some okay. of it's, yeah. yeah, the proprietary stuff doesn't is blotted out and stuff. Right, exactly. He'd be like, sure. I don't know how you want to test it, but you can test it if you buy it, or if you're so, wanting to try and buy it. So For what's sure. uh, what's this device do exactly? It is a great question for the GM, if you could maybe... <laughs> Essentially, you plug it into an interface plug, and it immediately uploads uh, like a virus, like a, whatever virus you have loaded in. Or so whatever to, code you have loaded in. We'd have to find the upload plug on this guy's body. Too hard? On a guy that can lift us with his mind. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. like, you, you describe what it does, and that's why I respond, like, apparently this guy can move things with his mind. I don't think any of us can get close enough to just stab him with a plug, if we can even find the slot. I mean, if it's covered so by I fake skin. So I thought we had this problem fixed last time. We weren't going to upload it to him direct. We were going to upload it to the packets that he gets. Oh. Okay. So I really Sorry. don't. I will thought it was to, to him. Well, I thought it was too. GM, will that work to upload to an access point? Yeah, if we, can, if, packets? if we can find out where he gets his packets. Yeah. It would be tricky but doable um you'd have to figure out where he's getting his packets from and what kind of packets he's getting i want to spend time with that skull piece that skull cap piece that we have mm -hmm. and try and uh, not so much uh like backwards engineer it maybe yeah maybe backwards engineer it a little bit to the best of my ability to get an idea, because surely, if he's got a decentralized nervous system, there's got to be leftover data just floating in this shit. Because every part of him seems to be, like, autonomous in a way. Right. Um, go ahead and make me... Let me see real quick. I suppose that would be a basic tech role. Okay. Or a cyber tech role, actually. Cyber tech role? Mm -hmm. Oh. Nice. So you're looking around, and you do see a couple transceivers. You look to what they're tuned to, and you come to a realization. This guy, his, his antennas are not tuned to anything. Okay. Okay, so it's, so he's completely autonomous. 
He's not getting packets. He is the receiver. Like he's the, that's it. No, he's not the receiver. He's the one building his own packets. No. What? So these receivers were tuned at one point. You actually see the last time that they were tuned and received a packet mm -hmm. was about a year and a half ago. Okay. Can I see Recycling? where it's from? Uh, you know what? Sure. Um, I go ahead. Say, most likely, he just received a single directive and he's just been following that same directive. It could be yeah, but... something very elaborate of protect the identity of uh, where this comes from. Yeah. Oh, remember, this whole thing only started about six months ago. This right. money laundering thing, where the the operator started doing things. So what changed six months ago? Well, it'd be a year and a half with the packets. Right. What what changed six months ago that put the operator in? like an active mode if he was maybe not inactive but just like in a a standby we've never seen him before no one's seen this so Correct. what happened six months ago what was the change that activated operator hmm. brian threw down a gauntlet <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> that's, that, that seems to be the pretty much the case. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Scene, are you pretty smart about this sort of thing? What sort of thing exactly? Uh, like cyber tech, stuff like that. Basic tech. I mean, I have, yeah, I have tech and I have a tech toolkit, which gives me a plus two. And okay. uh, send a tech scanner, but. Like, my stuff's vehicles. Right, for sure. The anti-grav oh. device that's inside of them definitely uh -huh. would make sense for me to know about because it's something that's put in a lot of vehicles. But right. the actual hardware getup, no idea. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. We'll say, though, do you want to make me an interface roll? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can track where that last... Uh, where you, you do some triangulation mixed with the dates, you know, hacker man shit, two keyboards going at once, mirror shades, that whole good right. thing. Right. Yes. Uh, and you can track where that last signal came from. Mm -hmm. The last signal came from somewhere in uh, Nord. Like, a, a, there's, there's a particular building in Nord that it came from. When did okay. we blow up the, uh, the dev? I was like, what was it, a month and a half at this point ago? It wasn't six months. That's, I was like, hold no. on. Hey, did we get paid? This has been a month and a half. No, because you got paid already and it's only a half month, so you've got another half month till you get paid. <laughs> Quit harassing me for money or else I'll never give you money. <laughs> for, for the audience, we learned that every month that we actually get, uh, we get paid based on our ranks and our things. Yes. So I, we messaged him and he was like, it hasn't been a month yet since we started. Yes. The going you remember, <laughs> remember you got paid for your month of working for the dev? Mm -hmm. Everyone, you know? But yes. And then this building, this building that we need to go to is in Zeeburg, right? Uh, Nord. The, the building is also in Nord. Okay. You, um, oh, oh, the building you need to go to is in Zeeburg, yes. Okay, okay, okay. What is in Nord? Are there any tech companies in Nord? <laughs> well, <was> one. <laughs> I'll is give it... you I'll give you a bit of a bone here, right? Okay. You kind of do some combing through the internet. You find this address, right? And on the info dev, you kind of comb through the news for that period of time. You look and cataloged the exact same day that the last transmission happened for this uh, for the operator, the building in question that you're looking at burned to the ground. Oh, it's like okay. they sent out an SOS and 
our final signal and was in that everything. building so it can never yeah. be tracked yeah what was in that building are there any records about what was going on in that building before him it was um uh, it was a uh not textiles uh, it was a plastics factory um mm -hmm. there was nothing really remarkable about it the reason the building burned down is because uh, at least according to the news, uh, one of the machines overheated and uh, blew up a whole bunch of superheated plastic all over the building. And because of the heat mixed with the volatility of the material, started catching pretty much anything that was flammable on fire in the factory. And because they weren't following uh, code, um, I mean, code doesn't exist in this world, but suggested code. You know what I mean? Uh, mm. Pretty much everyone in that building died from overheating. Everybody? Yeah, yeah everybody it was. Gone. It was like it, it was a it was a total triangle shirtwaist factory uh, okay. situation. It was like the emergency exits weren't working properly. The front doors were locked so that because there was like a union strike going on and like. Essentially, they didn't want um, they didn't want the unioners to get in and fuck with the scabs, and mm -hmm. you know there was no one on site who could unlock the doors necessarily, and the doors are already reinforced, and it's a big concrete building, and basically it turned into an oven. There was like 72, 73 people who died. Just another day in Nord, really. So yeah. So what you're saying is they came from Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Um, cool. I want to, oh man, like, I don't know how far I want to go with it because I don't want to take you totally down a rabbit hole. I'll, I'll throw you the bone here. Mm -hmm. Um, that building like burning down and everyone inside of it dying being on the same day as the last, um, transmission to the operator, uh, would probably indicate that, um, the operator was active before that time, and then that person just, the person who was their handler died, and who knows what the operator's been doing since then. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna hit up scene. I'm gonna be like, scene. I don't think the operator has a handler, and they need a new one. Nope. <laughs> Why not? Why not? This is a great idea. I feel like this is a terrible idea. It it might be. Honestly, I kind of want to go to Nord. And like, okay, listen. The last signal this thing got was a year and a half ago. From a little tiny like plastics building in Nord. And the building burned down. And that was the last time it ever got a signal. So we should go there and like poke around. We've only got like 24 hours to figure out how to stop this thing before everything was... goes fucking schizo. Side note, it was in fact a year and a half ago. Most evidence is going to be scant. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <clears throat> Follow-up plan. We build an access point with the exact same codex that was originally applied to these drop points, or this drop point, and we attempt to hit it with our own makeshift access point. Hmm. Okay. We drop a VPN on there, use the IP address that I've required, and start blasting out the signal when we get close to Zberg. I hate that that sounds actually like a decent idea. I know, I hate it too. Because <laughs> we will be little beacons yep. for the operator. Yep. So if he's going to come to us anyway, we just flash him. I mean, how much shit can I put in your van? It needs power. I need power. How big is this device? I haven't built it yet, but I would assume it's probably, I don't know how big the device is that I would be buying. 
but I would assume the access point would probably be like briefcase sized, maybe? Okay, so what you're planning on doing is creating your own remote access point at uh like at the frequency that he was getting those uh updates? Yes. Okay. So what I'll say is the first things first, you're gonna need to make some sort of uh some sort of um device probably with i'll need both a cyber deck design role and a uh basic tech role probably okay here's one hey damn hey, shut up okay okay yeah exploding crits man god wanted you to do this amy <laughs> Uh, and who am I to argue with God, except lesser God? Um, yeah. Uh, so you are looking at this, and you're looking at the shit you have around the bar. Now, yeah. with stuff in the runner's closet, plus all of your personal gear that you have laying around that's just miscellaneous. And my gear. And scenes gear, and serums gear. You can make this thing. It's not going to be slick, and it's not going to be pretty, but it'll run off a car battery, meaning the car is going to have to be running at all times, uh, and it's going to slow the car down, and it's probably going to be about the size of a locker. Okay. Okay. So Are we talking the tall lockers or the little short ones? When we had tall locker. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to be like a, a four foot by two foot thing. So we're going to need okay. to take out either a seat or take out the grenade launcher. Well, I would I mean, suggest take out a seat, keep the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher ain't going to do much against this guy, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, never hurts to have more. So I go over the details with you, and I'm like, here's what I got. And we could. Probably, we could probably test it right now if we're not sending out, like, oh my god, would I even need that but, thing that can hardwire the fucking, the worm into it? If I can just put the worm straight into the access point to punch off? Yeah, you won't, you wouldn't need the, the hand device, which is, like, the size of, like, I don't know, like a lightsaber handle. So people yeah. get their money back. Big metrics. So, yeah, yeah, people get their uh, money back. Yeah, so everybody's, no one, I, I will give everyone their money back after I've made this thing. Like, you know what? We just made our own. It's fine. Um, <laughs> God damn it's right fine. you did. Jesus. Yeah, A fucking plus. And by the way, as you, so you've designed this, and you will be able to make it. It'll take like a whole day. Do you just okay. immediately go and start making it? Um, yes, because I want to test it as soon as I can, as I finish. Okay. I, hey, Lucky. Well, Yes. Hey, Lucky. Uh, you, you, uh, Cash is tearing shit out of your bar facilities, and you don't know why. Um, well, I'm with her. Uh, honest, in this case, and I'm actually... Is with, yeah. yeah. She, she pitched this to me, and I said, well, fuck it. Let's, let's do it. I've got some supplies. And then uh, Serum was like, I've got some supplies. And yeah. I was is this like, someone fuck telling it. me this, or is this me? Yeah, I would, I would end up probably also sending you a message. Oh, no, 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 no. It, hold on, hold on. Before any of that, oh. am I seeing this, or is someone telling me this? Well, you'd get a message first. Like, once no, she came to me with this idea. No, hold on, hold on. I'm uh -huh. asking Mike, am I seeing this, or Someone's I... telling. Yeah, you get a message first from scene. Because it is something I would know to tell you, if we're going to rip up parts of the bar and stuff. Well, never mind then. It's fine. <laughs> And yeah, Cash if it was somebody like, like Boris saying it, it would. It, I would have oh, just. God. If it was someone like Boris would have saying, and I would have just said, "Well, she does have twenty four hours, so she better hurry yeah. up." That's all right? I would have yeah. said. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. And and scene knows not to drop bombshells on you usually, um, huh. uh, unless it's for you know their enjoyment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But in yeah. this case, we are dealing with someone that could just level our whole bar and kill everyone inside of it. So I'm just like, may have a solution. We're going to be tearing some stuff up. I mean, she doesn't reply, but she doesn't stop you either. Yeah. Hey, that's all that matters. 
you'll hear see and you'll hear cash like mumbling to herself as she's like like she's it's like a weird mad genius mumbling right oh, like <laughs> yeah. lots of like and then i need to put this here and then i need to synchronize this over here and then i need to move this over here and then she'll like she'll look at you and be like i need that cup can i have that cup that you're using can i have that cup i hand it over and then i immediately go back to work and i'm like and then i could put this over here and we could cover it this way we could just <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, and you're you're getting all this shit put together. Maybe at this point, um, uh, probably I'm assuming that Pain Dexter, you're probably at the front of the bar at this point while they're doing this shit. Or where are you where are you camped out while they're tearing up a whole bunch of shit in the bar there, Pain? Oh, he's watching. This is very fascinating. <laughs> He yeah. gets to see a real life movie montage. Absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah you're watching uh, between between uh, Serum, Cash, and um, between Serum, Cash, and Scene. This shit's getting cobbled together. Maybe Pain as you're watching this, you hear, "Oh, what the fuck are they throwing together? A fucking, what is this? Some kind of fucking sex bot or something?" <laughs> kind of. Fucking Skilch walks up and kind of elbows you in the ribs in one of those, like, eh, kind of things. It doesn't have enough uh, appendages for that, I don't think. Uh, I've seen some weird sex boats in my day. And, um, Violet probably is just, uh, you notice Violet has come into, they've been doing something. You don't really know what they've been doing, but they've apparently not had to really worry about the operator. Um, because they haven't been at the bar, you know. Um, Scav, meanwhile, is just drinking at the bar. He's like, I got 24 hours. I might as well just live life today. As a matter of fact, you know what? Scav is gonna go to Lucky's office. Um, and yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna walk in without knocking. She's sitting at her desk working. Yeah. I think. Hey. What's up? Big day tomorrow. You, uh, holding up? Have to, don't I? Huh, I mean... Yeah, but, I mean... Just want to make sure, you know. What's going on? He's like, nothing. I just feel like last couple of days we've barely seen each other but like not in that way that we usually barely see each other but like we've been in the same building for like several days and we still haven't really interacted with each other be honest i'm not even sure what to say to that uh scene is not drinking the entire montage Hot right uh <laughs> she did kind of yeah i'm sorry things have not been great it's like yeah no i i get that just uh you know i figure if we've got like a day left, I might as well, I don't know, hang out, even if we're just kind of, like, working, or, well, you're working, and, you know, I'm, I don't really have much to do right now, but, you know, just, I'll be quiet. <sighs> she chuckles and shakes her head. Uh, Scav, you, you don't need to ask permission are you a part of this relationship or not he guy shifts a little bit and goes yeah yeah i, I am kind of sits over you know at your desk and you know awkwardly drinks a beer all right i'm sorry bad joke kind of you know, he's like, mm, you're, uh, you're okay. So you want to tell me what's eating at you? Mm -hmm. And he's like, 
Are you... Are you doing okay? I mean, I have to be, don't I? Uh, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, like... Are you, like, doing okay in general? I... It's been weird... I guess. And he seems really anxious. You know what I mean? Like, he seems so fucking uncomfortable. Scav, if you want to keep beating around the bush, you can, but just whatever you need to say, go ahead. He's like, what? I mean, like, the, the thing with the oven. You know, or, or like, you know, like sometimes I'll come home and, uh, you know, I'm cool with you, you know, not knowing where you are, but, you know, you'll come home covered in scrapes, and bruises, or sometimes you'll come home smelling like, you know, uh, like, I don't know, cologne or smelling like, you know, sweat or whatever. And that's fine. I don't care if you're getting some on the side or whatever. I mean... You know, that's fine. But, you know, I want to know what's going on. And I, I don't know. I feel like any time I ask, just it's just work. You know, you're just like, ah, work. And I don't know. I, I mean, like, I, and like some days you're like doing fine. You know, I mean, like and some days you're doing rough, you know. Like, some days, you're like, yeah, no, like, let's hang out, let's cuddle, let's, you know, watch a movie or something, let's go get ramen. And some days, you're, like, you know, you're you're lucky. You're not, um, you're not Marcin. You're lucky. And you don't need to always be Marcin, but I just kind of wish I knew when you're Marcin and when you're lucky. Look, I... I'm sorry I haven't been the most focused. Always on it. There's no one else, I promise that much. I... I don't really have an answer for you, Scav. Kinda... nods, you know? By the way... What is that casserole doing in our fridge? Kind of goes, uh, well, uh, sorry. It's been in there I, for like a week. I just. Yeah, I meant to eat it. Um, I mean, she said it'd be good for like about a week, so we could probably eat it tonight if you want some home cooking before we both, you know, inevitably die or whatever. Who exactly? Uh, y your mom. Who else? Uh, there's kind of a pause for a moment. Uh, sorry, for a sec, did my mother? And he gets really, like, uncomfortable again. Mm -hmm. And he goes, yeah, we had her for dinner last week y her and your dad and why the hell would we do that i think you remember the last time how well that went what i you're the and he looks really confused he's like i don't it is this a is this a test I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. I 
How is that? A, how is my bitch mother a test? I. What? You. You. I. I mean, you. And he just is like at a loss for words. He has. I no think you idea. broke Scav. Yeah, he has no idea what the fuck's going on at this point. He looks so confused and concerned. Why the hell would I have anything to do with her after what she said last time? I thought you patched that up, like, like a week after. No, I haven't talked to her since. No, well then who the fuck are you talking to on your phone calling mom? It's not my mom, she's dead. Who You've the... been dead for a while. Scav, what the fuck is going on? What are you talking about? And he's like, uh, what? What do you mean? I, what, what? I have had nothing to do with her since we last had her over. You call her every week. What the fuck are you talking? Are you Okay. Hold on. Oh, this is so juicy. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I could be nice about this, or I could not. Um. Which was that die? You know, I just think it's funny that you act like this around me, she says, but... Around other people, you're completely different. Is this... <laughs> Are you trying to gaslight me? He's like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the fuck on. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, really? How long... Just how long have you been worried about me, Scav? I... I don't know. Fucking... For a little bit... Yeah? Before or after you mentioned that to Seen? What the fuck do you mean, before what? Did Seen, like, come to you or something? I'm sorry, I'm concerned about my fucking girlfriend. You don't think I don't know what goes on in this place? What, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? It means, Scav, that you could just fucking talk to me instead of going behind my back about it. Oh, I'm sorry. The last time I tried to have a conversation like this with you, it was, oh, it's fine. Or or was it the time before where you blew up and said that you were going to go and deal with some shit, which I assume had to be, and then he puts in big air quotes, work. Yeah. You know what I do when I go to work, Scav? I go across the river from Canal Belt South. And I shoot some fuckers. Okay? I know where my head is at. And frankly, at this point... <clears throat> what else are you lying to me about? Fucking lied you... You know what? Fuck this. This is why I didn't want to fucking have this conversation. This is why I checked. This is why I checked. But apparently... Just again. Nope. That's fine. F you know, I don't, I don't fucking get you right now. Why are you? Fuck this. I don't need this. I don't <laughs> fucking need this. We're being hunted by a fucking goddamn rubber mask asshole. We fucking covered in shit. We got our fucking coolest lady killed who fucking was about to, to just cut everyone in half for us. And they're building a goddamn fucking whatever down there and i've been here just playing good old fucking scav just trying to be something fucking constant in your life and now you're saying i'm fucking lying to you no that's fine that's cool that's whatever you know what i think they probably need my help down there and if you know what if you just want to take a listen hear what we're talking about i'm sure you'll hear something interesting and he gets up he leaves his beer on your desk and he, like, walks the door and goes, I don't fucking get you. I don't fucking get it. Take your shit with you. 
she says, looking at the beer. He, uh, he grabs the beer and he fucking goes, yep, can't do that one right either. Whatever. And he fucking leaves and yeah, you guys downstairs see Scav come down. He goes to the nearest trash can and just slams a beer bottle into it. It very clearly breaks. And uh, he just walks out the front door. No one else with him. Cash might notice it. <laughs> Maybe. I glance back. I see that. And I'm just like, I'm not getting into that. Nope. Like, I know, yeah. like, I, I feel like my human perception is high enough that I instantly recognize, like, I'm not, uh-uh, nope, nope, not, I'm not getting into that mess. Oh, hell yeah. no. Uh, I'm the babysitter, Serum. not the scab sitter, so I'm not going to follow him. Yeah, Serum kind of looks up and goes, damn, well, that was causing a fucking scene. And, uh, Lucky, what are you doing after scab leaves your office? That's a good question. One I don't have an answer for at this at this moment in time, and I think uh, uh, Lucky is going to sit there like a hung system for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I don't like that. <laughs> Makes sense. And um, you just kind of hear, you know, in the back of your head, told you, kid, it's just you out there. She picks up the phone. Yeah, who do you call? Valencia. Okay. You uh you get a couple rings and then uh you uh you hear um Ah, my favorite niece. How can I help you? Mm. There's going to be a moot in three days here at Tartarus. You're going to be there. It's going to be going over battle prep for the tracks and Lucan. As a matter of fact, you're going to get here an hour early because you are going to sit down with the Mac and you two are going to have a discussion. Hmm. Excellent. I'm glad that I have a day planner. When's my manicure? Hmm. You try and mask this with humor. Let me just tell you this. This train is leaving the station, so you can either buy a ticket... Or stand at the edge of the platform and wave goodbye. And see you then, Val. Click. Oh my huh. god. <laughs> so, the next. <laughs> we'll say the next 12, maybe 14 hours are kind of a blur. It's a lot of work, a little bit of drinking. A lot of bullshitting. A lot of tired. But you guys don't really have an opportunity to, you know, go to bed. In fact, all of you were offered at one point or another by Boris um, some kind of wake-up drugs, some shit that, you know, Lucky takes it all the fucking time, you know. He probably actually would mention, eh, hook boss lady up with this shit, you know. Cash will take it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You Do you take amphetamines all that often, Cash? No, not very often, just when she's hyper-fixated on something. You feel a funny feeling in your stomach and feel very energized, if not a little too wired, but you can push through it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think I probably will have hit up Trix to come down and hang with us as well, and Suzerin if she wants to. Um, yeah. Suzerin's probably hanging out, watching all this shit go on. Mm-hmm. What's Trinix doing during all this time? Aligning all the paperwork, then remembering, wait, I have a dinner. Oh, wait, <laughs> I can't go out to dinner. I can't go by, I can't leave. <laughs> Remember, it's, it's a dinner that you can set the time for. You just have to call an RSVP a time. Can I set the place and have him come here? Uh, no. 
So the dinner is going to be an Artiste. This is basically a golden ticket moment. Anyone getting to go see Artiste who doesn't work at Artiste is uh, pretty lucky. Yeah, I'll put it out for three days. It should be alive still then. Sure. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. All I'll right. set up the lunch in three days. Excellent. All right. Excellent. So you get, and whenever you call, they don't really question your identity. Uh, they just go, ah, excellent. You wish to set up a meeting time for three days. We'll set it up for three o'clock in the afternoon. Cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you get that set up. Finally, a whole ding dang twenty four hours roughly passes. Cash. Yeah. You, you seen serum and Trixie stand back. Sweat, oil, bits of tape, glue. Uh, you know, soldering re remnants, all that stuff, all over you guys. You haven't had time to, you know, stay maintained. But in front of you sits a monstrosity of patch cables, uh, slapdash welded, uh, welded sides, and uh, a whole lot of tech. Um, and yeah, you have this cabinet made. I love it. <clears throat> I'm gonna slap a fucking sticker on the side of it. That Excellent. says "sexy mama." <laughs> Hell yeah! And I'm gonna go. I think she's done. We gotta test it out. Okay. So, um, and I'm gonna look around the room. Fuck it. We're gonna hit the screens in the bar. Surely there are like video screens in the bar. So you're you're broadcasting a frequency. I am. Okay. So yeah, you want to so you can set a TV to a frequency. That'd probably be the easier thing than to yeah. set the frequency to whatever a specific TV is set to. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to do that. Okay. So <laughs> you uh what are you going to broadcast from this frequency? Um uh do you guys know the cupcake song? Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> oh god no i want to die 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 <laughs> uh, no yeah that's a I muffin it's a, it is the muffin song you're right i'm sorry it always looks like a cupcake to me uh, god. yeah it's it's the muffin song and i want to play it on full blast <laughs> yeah so basically it screams out i want to die 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 <laughs> yeah and uh you're you're kind of doing this and yeah. You know, uh, lucky you hear from downstairs uh, on one of your TVs blasting loudly. I want to die, die, die. <laughs> grabs her cane, grabs her shit, loads up, heads downstairs because that sounds like it's time to rock and roll. It's muffin time. I want to die, die, die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Skilch and Violet and, uh, Skilch, Violet and, um, and, uh, who am I thinking of? Um, God dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Um, Felix. Skilch, Violet and Felix are all, uh, kind of hanging out. Um, you know, watching this go down. Um, you know, Skilch is probably like, Hey, the washing jig works. Fuck yeah. Violet, you know, eye roll. And um, uh, Felix is like, oh my god, bestie, you put together a thing. You are a powerful queen. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you too. And she's standing there. Cash is standing there. Hands on her hips. Just the biggest goddamn smile on her big stupid face. Like it's doofy. Like she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Serum is, of course, fretting over every tiny little detail there. Trixie Wait. is, you know, she's she's kind of um, fucking with a couple knobs, you know, playing off your whole die die or the whole muffin song thing, and you know, swapping it between various shit on the TV, being like, "Hey, 
it works. Hey, check out this packet. And uh, she throws it on the TV, and it's just like a game of Pac-Man that she's playing with her internal agent. She's like, sick. Um, yeah. Oh, you're not you're not going to uh, Mars attacks this guy with the muffin song. We confirm <laughs> his name is Sizzler. He's very exciting. By the way, you guys, I feel like during the build of this, we would have also talked about like a takedown strategy after the original, like part one. Yeah, because he's not going to stay down forever. I don't okay. think it's going to keep him down forever. So we would right. have probably discuss like death and dismemberment. And like how? That's not our <laughs> first goal. Well, but you have to have a follow up so because I can't going down the stairs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll look over at you and be like, but you have to you have to have a follow up. Like this is just like step one. It's going to get back up. So what are you going to do when I knock it down? You are going to get into the systems. Grab the money. And run like hell while we take care of it. Okay. So okay. either you'll be part of a really, really uh, successful crew, or you'll be really, really rich. I mean, when you put it that way, it sounds super enticing, but also a bit worrying. Um, it looks like this says... is far beyond Amsterdam. So even if you did manage to and got away you wouldn't get away forever i i'm not intending to get away not like that um honestly because i'm kind of scared of you so you know i i'm, I'm not pretty talking sure about, no she's not talking about herself she's talking about it, uh the operator basically oh, if you were well, the only one to survive it and you decided to skip town to get away from it it could probably follow you to the ends of the earth if it wanted to feel like it oh, yeah. i feel like it can you're right so i mean i just want to know if you guys have a plan to keep it down are you just going to listen i have a feeling that this thing is like way smarter than all of us combined and once it figures out my worm it's going to purge it um and then it's going to know how to purge the worm again. Like, this is kind of a, this is a blow your load one shot situation. I can build another worm, but it can't be the same in any capacity. Because now it's going to know to look out for this specific worm. And then build another one to... right now? Uh, no. No. No, we wouldn't have time. Um, there wouldn't be time. But, like, and all the coders, we've all got, like, we've all got a signature. Yeah. I would need a whole other coder that would do things, like, completely different from me in order for him to not see that. Or a completely different... <gasps> what about Jasifer? Jasifer helped about... you build the program, we'll say. Yeah. He's, he can't build his own programs, but he but... can, in fact, help you. Could I, could I install Jasifer after I install the worm if I put safeguards on Jasifer so the worm can't touch him? That is and... a bad idea, I will say. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one would probably kill Jasifer. There's not really a way, because what you've built is basically a slapdash nuke virus. Yes. Um, nukes uh, are not discerning about what they target. Right, for sure. Um, right. We just have to guide it in the right direction for now. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I guess there's a possibility that it'll take it down completely. However, I highly doubt that. This thing is really, really smart. Um, and if it doesn't hit hard and hit fast, fast enough, it's going to learn how to purge it. What if it can can be something that can learn how to not be purged? Um, you know, Age of Ultron. Right, Age of Ultron. God, <laughs> I adore you. Um, I don't know, GM. Is there time to? I mean, we're going all independent there today. There is not time. We're stuck. 
This is you guys okay. have done about all you can to prep on the tech side. Yeah. Me and you guys just need a plan to keep it down once it is down. Violet just says, what? Enough bullets, right? Maybe. Maybe. Kind of hey. nods and goes, whatever the case, I'm going to be in the infiltration team with you. Oh, I'm okay. I'm not exactly useful on the battlefield. Okay, are you useful with tech? Hmm. I'm useful enough to watch your back. And say, big, mean, and ugly decides that he wants to kill you. He'll have to strangle me first. <clears throat> have I ever had any interactions with this person before? No, he's got a reputation, though. Yes, very okay. much a reputation. It's pretty the clear that job Lucky we sent doesn't him out. like him. Okay. The first job um, we sent him out on, um, he was just supposed to gather information. Instead, he ended up uh, killing somebody and drawing a lot of attention without really getting much in the way of useful info. Actually, it was oh. earlier part for this job, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Also, side note, you uh, did, in fact, do one job with him. Remember when you went and met um, Mizuwale? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was there. Uh, he pretty much did fuck all. Right, for sure. Um, yeah, so looking at him, I'm going to be like, I appreciate that. However, Payne's on my team. Payne's the one that has my back. Um, you can have Payne's back, though. Sure. Uh, but Payne's my back. Yeah. Pain or scene. It's either one. Yeah. Skilch kind of goes, uh, well, uh, that's uh, one way to look at it. The other way is if pain is directly watching your back, that's one of our strongest gun arms, just kind of fucking in a building. Can he looks at, uh, he looks at you, Lucky, at, like for deference. You know, because he's not trying to be disrespectful, but he's he's throwing out a pretty realistic no, analysis. No, absolutely. It was never a thought in my mind that uh, Payne was going to go with infill. No. As okay. far as I'm concerned, it's just going to be luck, uh, not lucky, uh, cash, well, violence because he has to be. Um, she would prefer scene, take the van, and uh, get them there. Yeah. Um... Uh, where's Scav? Because <laughs> Cash did not realize Scav has left. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah he, he never he came back. He stopped out. Oh. He went Damn. outside. I guess so. Okay. Well, okay. Um, theoretically, if the thing is down, you don't need a bunch of, like, muscle-headed jocks to help out because it's going to be down. I don't know for how long that it's going to be down. Change of plans. Um, See, yeah. you need to go find Scaff. Bring him back. I just kind of give you a look for a moment and then I'm just like, alright, I can do it. Mm, violent. Uh, uh, yeah, that <laughs> violent. Uh, violent, you go with him. All right, babysitting duty. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Lucky, and kind of pull you aside just a little, and in mm, as hushed a tone as possible, I'm gonna say, <clears throat> I don't trust Violet. I don't know exactly if I trust. What's who's the other guy that came in with Violet? Skilch. Skilch, Skilch. I don't exactly know how much I trust Skilch. I don't know how much they know about this operation, but that's a lot of money. We're going to be transferring a lot of money. And honestly, I just don't want to get shot in the back for someone to run off with this fucking chip. I don't trust them. Which is why you wouldn't be going alone with Violet. Who else am I going with then? Scene will be with you. Uh, okay. actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually ask, uh, Daniel, out of character, which would you rather scene be? Is scene... Hmm? 
which would you rather do with scene? Oh, you said with scene, and then you just kind of left it at that. Sorry. Oh, no. I mean, I... Yeah, what would you rather do? They rather do. Getting scab back is kind of a <laughs> out of character and even in character doesn't seem effective. Um, uh, here's the thing. If he wanders off on his own, Mike will kill him for fun. <laughs> oh, no. Holy shit. Uh, That's fact. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Second, wow. I'm not we saying need another yes, body but on I'm not crew. saying no. Because here's the thing. He's also um, mainly good at driving. So, if you wanted to fight the big, bad, ugly guy, we let um, Scav drive the van. If not, Scav will fight the big, bad, ugly guy. I mean, scene's not actually a combatant, really. I mean, I can shoot a crossbow. You did intentionally buy all those cool toys. Yeah, True. Oh, no, totally. Um, uh but if the person driving the van, that's going to be the one who encounters him, isn't it? You know, Serum could go in the uh, spot with Cash. Mostly I'm sending you... That's It's a good idea, but also I want three. Um, mm. The reason I want you to go get Scav now is because, uh, well, he's out wandering by himself. The You know, when we told people not to... Um, that's an easy target. Yeah. I can go get him. He's an idiot, but we don't want to lose him this quickly. But you love him. Yeah, I can go find uh, him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I love that. Not very happy with him at the moment. I'll, uh, he do! Uh, he didn't do anything to you! He was checking in on you! He's been concerned! Anyway... <laughs> so um go grab him just bring him back um let's see but so do you want scene to be driving their own car preferably okay in that case it'll yeah it would be it'll be you you know cash it'll be you scene and uh violet Unless you'd rather me send I mean, Skilch. I mean, <clears throat> either one I'm kind of uncomfortable with, just because I don't know them. And Skilch Violet... wouldn't do anything. Violet, well, let's just say he's on his last legs. I would rather not with Violet. Skilch, if you like Skilch and you're good with that, I'm good with that too. Skilch um, will be fine because he knows who pays him. I was about okay. to say, like is a strong word. She tolerates Skilch. She okay. barely tolerates Violet. Like yeah. Right. I mean, just considering like exactly what's about to go down, I really don't want my character to get shot in the back. Unless over a she'd rather serum. Him. If it makes you feel better, whoever mm -hmm. goes with us, if shit goes down, we'll be getting abandoned by scene. Yeah. NPCs okay. lives don't matter. Change my mind. Oh my god. Okay, just just drag me in because I want to drag you It'll be like a, oh shit's going down. We have a good distraction. Let's get out of here. Okay, yeah. Let's let's take Skilch. Skilch I'm good with. And mm -hmm. um, I'm looking good with. I don't know. Everybody's got ulterior here, motives and shit. Let's switch Skilch. So Skilch. Skilch. Skilch can fight. Let's switch him with Serum. Yeah. Serum can sort of fight, but he's way more suited to do the um, the uh, hack job stuff. Yeah, the tech stuff. Okay. okay. Plus, you did just work on a project for like 16 hours with Serum, and as far as you can tell, Serum's just a dude who's like pretty happy that he's not caught up in a bunch of bullshit, and he's mm -hmm. getting to do what he loves to do, which I mean, is do weird, cool tech shit. He is okay, caught up cool. in a lot of bullshit, but... <laughs> But he's not caught up in the same bullshit. This isn't bullshit that's like, hey, everyone hates you. This is bullshit that's like, hey, we have a really bad problem, and your tech is useful to fix this problem. Mm -hmm. Like, Serum and I probably would have had some good camaraderie anyway because oh, of that. Oh, for sure. He's like, a total fucking geek and pretty yeah. socially inept, but he's oh, harmless. Yeah. 
you know yeah he, for sure. he will shoot someone but only because he doesn't really make that connection in his head that shooting someone he doesn't know is still shooting someone you know what i mean okay. yeah he's one of that's, those runners that's fine <laughs> yeah that's totally fine <laughs> yeah i mean it's not but it is so yeah, no, he's is... he's he's about as tame as an edge runner can get. He treat right. he treats edge running like video games. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of yes. his thing. I love it. I love everything yeah. about it. Yeah, Serum's my dude. So, yeah, yes. I'll take Serum and Scene, and um, I'm gonna look over at Scene and be like, "We got to get this thing in your car." And your car I has the same. We already running. did. Oh, oh yeah, did. you guys can get okay. that in your car pretty easy. <laughs> Okay, I'm like hardwiring it to your battery. <laughs> I'm like bringing a spare battery or two. Yeah, like, good idea. Break the, like destroy the battery. Like we're just gonna. Oh gonna yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. Actually. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm, like inside your engine. <laughs> yeah. We have enough, like few enough passengers. Like I have extra supplies. There's like, a couple extra batteries, some tires. Like I'm ready. Oh yeah, absolutely um let's see here uh yeah and um you guys uh kind of um you guys kind of are uh getting all that shit loaded up you know and um what's uh after you get that loaded up uh scene has tasked you with getting uh with getting scav so you gonna go do that or what's your plan here wait you said you said seen as task. Oh. You. Yes, Trinix stayed up for hours and passed out in chair. That makes sense. Um Yeah, um sorry, Lucky asked you to get Scav. You know what I mean. Okay, so we're still doing that. Yeah, then we can go get Scav and then uh Okay. How do you uh how do you track Scav down? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -ba -ba -da -da -da. Well, I've known Scav a good enough time. We've drank together. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would know some of his usual go-tos. Sure. You know that there's a couple spots. There's a flop house he kind of hangs around. Um, there's the apartment, of course, uh, that he and Lucky share. Um, and uh, he's got a couple ramen shops and bars around town that he goes to. Yeah. I'll probably hit up the house first in case maybe he's, like, packing up stuff to leave. No, and it doesn't look like there's anything missing from the house either. I well, I mean, I don't know if you have access to the apartment, but you know. I um, mean, if I have to. <laughs> yeah, you you pop in <laughs> fairly easily. Uh, everything still looks there. I mean, it looks like ha no one's been there for a couple days because you know. What about the spike pits? <laughs> yeah, the spike pits for well, the Doomba actually. Oh, uh, the yes. Doomba, you do see a Roomba with googly eyes and a knife um, that kind of menaces at you, but it Come is completely I don't do more than, I don't do more than just peek in and be like, Scav. Okay, no. Mm. Mm -mm. Barely uh, a Doomba. But uh, but um, <laughs> no, yeah, that's that's a no, Amy. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, absolutely the big gun. not. Absolutely <laughs> not. You think I'm gonna give you a super weapon? Fuck no. Um, Jesus, Amy. Like, I mean, I you, you, you should push the it. envelope and tell her this. Fucking right. <laughs> you Calm down you there. If that he was gonna say no to that when he said no to my to uh, Age of Ultron because you know. <laughs> Giving Jasper uh, an operator body would be cool. That oh my god, cool, that would be happening. so fucking cool. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, you you stop by the house. That doesn't have him. I'll save you some roleplay time. You check a couple spots. You finally see him. He's like a couple blocks away from this ramen shop. And he's on the street. Um, sitting down in like a puddle that is forming. Um, that is it's so fucking dramatic it's because of the rain not because he pissed himself though he might have oh. pissed himself you don't know no because you pull just up it's drama just... queen and he's drunk as shit fucking drama queen mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> i uh pull up open the side of the van and just look at him 
is he conscious? Yeah, he's conscious. He I looks just... at you, he sees you, and goes, I seen. <laughs> Get in. No, fuck off. You know I can toss you in this van if I want to. <laughs> And I know you're a good enough friend that you'll let me die to that fucking boogeyman in peace. <laughs> Click. Uh, the uh, seatbelt comes off. <laughs> he, uh, he like tries to kind of skitter up but falls back <laughs> on his ass and is just like, hogging hell. Pop. Door opens. <laughs> uh... She doesn't fucking want me, man. Oh, I don't know what the dude. fuck her problem is. She doesn't <laughs> fucking want me around. Because I'm fucking gaslighting her. Now, I, I shouldn't even have this conversation. She's probably listening in right now. I fucking hope you are. That's right. <laughs> I sewed a, a microphone into your underwear, scav. Whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. He knows we have fucking security cameras in the fucking place. Yeah, what does he think? Why, when he came to me, I was just like, really? Like, right here? All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just like, oh, boo, you got in a fight. Was it your first time? He goes, I don't know. Have I been fighting with the same fucking person? Sure didn't fucking seem like it. Well, <laughs> whether you uh, continue things or not you're still part of the job and we're gonna need you fuck the job <laughs> I mean worse if anything you're gonna get money out of it shit kinda goes I'm gonna shit about money I was happier when I was broke oh <laughs> kinda and at this point you see he is holding back tears right now Look, Lucky's got a lot going on, and I, and I should have realized a little bit sooner. She's been taking way too many. Uh, what what do you call them? Amphetamines? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's been getting amphetamines from the goddamn uh, bodyguards, I guess to call them. I don't know. I can't it's what not, they're called. It's not fucking us. The fucking cyclopine. She fucking takes it and she's fucking different. She's mean. The fuck is that? The fuck is that? It takes fucking cyclopine and gets mean. It's supposed to make you fucking better, not fucking a dick. Hmm. Well, we can figure that out and uh, hopefully get her back to normal once this. Shit's done. Kind of scoffs and goes, I guess. God, he's he's so drunk and sad. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you like help him up and move him to the van? Oh, he still hasn't gotten him. <laughs> no, he's drunk as shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll get him into the van. Yeah, and politely. He, yeah, and he's. He's not trying to be a dick, but he's pretty dead weight, you know. Um, he's just like, I guess I'll go and shoot shit now, cause that's my fucking life. I mean, kind of, kind of become most of our lives, unfortunately. Kind of goes, you know, and like you guys get in the van, and he doesn't. Obviously, he hasn't showered in the last 24 hours, but he also just reeks of booze. Um, and he's just like, you know, you get the door closed and you get clicked into the front seat. And he's like, how do you fucking deal with it, man? How much time do we have before the mission? Out of character. Good question. How much are you thinking, Lucky? It's almost nighttime. Well, let's put it this way. Until you get back, I can't really do much. <laughs> right. Okay, so out of character, what would be a good time frame? Um, this is something I don't think... We don't really have enough time to tonight to even start it. So, I mean, you know, 
whatever's appropriate. Because, like, yeah, I'll, uh, on the way back, I'll take a detour, and, uh, we're going to go over to the Jewish quarter. Okay. Where, yeah, why, you... why are you going to the Jewish quarter, scene? Okay, uh, you'll see. Why, why are we going <laughs> to, the go to the Jewish, Jewish quarter, quarter, scene? And, like, obviously, it's, it's the Jewish quarter is like that place where, like, everything just kind of shifts to, uh, as you've described it, what? Like, it's just older buildings, brick buildings. It's quieter. Oh, yeah. Things like that. Yeah, and I, I'm taking them down the road, and mm -hmm. there's, like, the people walking around. I just kind of pull to the side, and I'm just like, I do the things I do because I hope that, well, eventually we can get to a point where, I don't know, it's stupid. We can make people, we can get, everything can be more peaceful like this. Kind of looks at you and goes, yeah. Like if we can take down these corporations, become a threat to other places, I mean... This is my home away from home. I get, I'm able to do the things I do because this is the peace I get when I can't be with my family. I come here, I spend time with the people here. I get to know them. And getting Kinda. to know these people has been, <sighs> gives me hope. He's kind of got his head. He's at this point kind of clamored his way to, to the front seat and, uh, it's he's making the front seat wet and you know you're gonna have to clean your car but um he's kind of leaning his head against the window and he goes you know why i do it because lucky and he goes you ever hear a story of how we met she probably told you wasn't was i there for that you were not there for that. Okay. That was just them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, have you told me the story of how you guys met? Lucky? Gunner? Mm, hold on. Or had he? maybe has he told me in the past? Oh, he wouldn't have no. told you. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. He's like, he's like, <laughs> I was at the end of my rope. A couple new human guys. Or no, they were river rats. It's like a couple river rats fucking owed him some money and they had me tied to a chair. Were about to shoot me and they gave me a phone call. And you remember the old man? Oh yeah, the one that blew himself up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I said to call him if you ever needed help. Well, I called me, he already done blowing himself up. But Lucky picked up. And she was pissed and said she couldn't help me with my problems. And fuck you, help you help yourself, you know. And then, about fifteen minutes later, the door to the warehouse busts open. Fucking, she's got a goddamn grenade launcher. Hits one of them with a fucking baseball bat, and then she just lets me stay at her place. There has not been a moment that I was not madly in love with her since I met her. Aww. She fucking is strong, and she's cool, and she's pretty, and she could kick anyone's ass, herself included, and regularly does. Not to and... that. Okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> I fucking, I fucking love her so fucking much. I just don't know what to do, seeing she's tearing herself apart. I just can't, I just can't figure it out. What, what am I, uh, the argument we had... She called me, she said I was fucking lying to her because she invited her mom to dinner. 
What am I supposed to do against that, man? I didn't do anything. I just... I just want to fucking help. And all she fucking do is... She pushes me away. I just keep... Fucking going back. I guess... I guess that's what love is? That's so fucking... Love sucks ass, man. I, I, so you mentioned the mother thing, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm just like, what, what was that about her mother? She's been fixing shit up with her moms. And, like, they had a bad thing, and now they got a goodish thing going on. And she's calling her every week and had her over for dinner last week. And I talked to her in the office, and... Like a switch. Just... Oh, what else are you lying to me about? Why are you talking behind my back? It's just... What the fuck do you do with that? Like... It... And it's always the fucking... It's just... It's like she's two fucking different people. And it always fucking happens... Just... One man, she's all happy and lovey and wants to keep things good and is nice to me. Next minute, fucking we're business associates and I'm a piece of shit. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh let's get you sobered up and get you back. And yes, I'll please. like he won't be so goddamn dramatic when he's sober. <laughs> I'll uh <laughs> I've already, like, I'd already parked, so I get out, and there's, like, pro- I probably parked, like, right by, like, a little coffee shop. Yeah. And I go in, and I get us, like, coffees. Oh, and he opens the door and just vomits out of it. Uh, and as you're bringing out coffee, Tsuya, you are on top of a building in the Jewish quarter. You're watching the van. You have received intelligence that your targets are about to be on the move, going to the target. Excuse me? <laughs> you want to hmm. wanna say that again, uh, Mike? No, I think I'm good. Brian heard it, right, Brian? Oh, I heard every word of it <laughs> loud and clear. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. So what's Suya doing on this rooftop in the Jewish quarter? Actually, you're in the Jewish quarter, and you hear someone behind you click a handgun say, I don't know what you're doing here, but we don't want you here in this neighborhood. You're going to cause trouble. She's... Oh, so when I do it, it's a bad thing, but when they do it, it's fine? She stands up and just, like a fine-tuned machine, just turns around and looks at the person. It is a dude who, part of Dimakshby, you can tell. You can tell by the suit, tell by the yarmulke. He's pretty young, um, and, uh... He is uh, pretty nervously pointing this gun at you. I, You clearly get the intent. He does not think he is going to win, but he is doing his job in saying, you are dangerous and we want you to leave. Please don't kill my friends. <laughs> I ask you this nicely, Brian. <laughs> I don't want a kamikaze on you. So what's your reaction? And how close is he? Uh, he's maybe 10, maybe 15 feet away. Well, actually, you know the exact distance. He is 12.2 feet away. Oh. I feel so sorry for this kid. But Suya doesn't. No, she doesn't. 
if I if I held myself back from beating up a fourteen year old, you can hold yourself back from beating, <laughs> killing, killing, killing this kid at least. You know, if you need to break his hand, whatever. you can assume he is between twenty one and twenty two. Kid, <laughs> well, that narrows it so close. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, but anyway, she closes that gap like in a blink of an eye. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you cave his skull in. Yeah. Or you could go for non-lethal. You could go for non-lethal. It is martial arts. You going lethal or non-lethal? That's not in her program. All right. Yeah, you cave this dude's skull in, and he just drops sack of no. potatoes. Um, I mean, I'll never know, but... Went from being a person to being an object like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And, um, probably about this time, you hear the car door close for the van. I just turn back around the same way I turn to face the person. Mm -hmm. watch and, then uh, and as they go I start following excellent and as you follow you feel your dopamine cortisol and uh, and uh, or not cortisol your dopamine serotonin and your uh, what's the one you get from snuggling with people <clears throat> is that cortisol huh cortisol no. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel your dopamine, serotonin, and cortisols rise as you are given one good job point for killing someone. I just have a, a, a curious question. Yes. How is she getting these drugs if she's there's no biological in her? That's a good point. You are getting simulations of those. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. That makes that total works. sense. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, and uh, I think we will close out there. Brian, I swear to God, I thought the combat was going to be tonight. Um, it looks like we're going to do it next session. I am so sorry. Um, oh, that's okay. <laughs> we got some good drama out this session, and I think that we're going to call it there. Let's start uh, with sign-offs with Brian. Hi. Hi, Brian. I'm playing Suya Mark II. She's not exactly human. Well, there's no human left in her. True. Um, yeah, that, that poor Jewish punk. He just mm -hmm. was a liability. Yeah. He, and, yeah. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, he's not a punk. He was a mobster, so technically he signed up for this job, but also... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, no one signs up to meet RoboCop. That's true. Except, no. except at Comic Con, like nobody wishes to purchase their room temperature pass. No. And yeah, then if people think that punch is bad, <laughs> wait till you see some other stuff you can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. I uh, I yeah. did some theory crafting with your character there, Brian, and. Did a little pen and paper scenario with it just to see what I'd be up against. Uh, I'm scared. I as the I as a person outside of this game am afraid Suya is going to come to my door and kill me. <laughs> see, that's the thing when you tell me I I have free reign as long as it's in the rule books. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> But anyway, on Monday you can find me in Fire Strike playing Shabu Young. Uh, another really, yeah, <laughs> sort of mentally disturbed character because she seems way we, too much. We are just having so many very upsetting characters. Um, yeah, and on Sundays, this Sunday, not this Sunday, but a week Sunday. We will be doing Gloomfall, a 3.5 D&D &D story, um, set in the Underdark of these lovely people who are, well, trying to make a living down there. And, and instead of me being the crazy player, I'm the crazy game master, mm. So, which is equally 
crazy. Um, Drag yeah, that's me. Um, all right, excellent. Let's go next to Trinix. Okay, with Scott, I played Trinix. It was completely fine. Completely. Just so we're aware. Yeah, just just so we have the record straight. <laughs> But currently, he's passed out in a chair. True. <laughs> so, she has no idea what everybody's been talking about upstairs. Mm. She has no idea that device exists. She's been in the freaking medical area lab thing for the past 24 hours and just passed out. <laughs> he's weird. Mm. Um... Okay, what else am I in? So I'm in Gloomfall 2, where I play the normal blacksmith dude. Most normal in the group. Yep. Yeah. I'm making weapons and a wall. Well, hopefully four walls, a roof, and a ceiling. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Safety room. Yeah. Okay, and... Oh, I'm also on Fire Strike. Where I play Xander, who is trying to find his original model thing. Well, I don't know. We're trying to find Xander 1. That's all I know. That'll be fun. If we don't die trying to go to jail to free him. Yeah, that's about it. All right, excellent. Next, let's do Computer King. <laughs> I'm the Computer King, gentleman supervillain, and I was playing Payne Dexter, who is not technically uh, involved, so he just watched people and had drinks and sent a uh, cash of vodka. Uh, <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, I only got one little quote in, and nobody probably recognized that one. I, 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 okay, so I knew it was a quote, but I couldn't figure it out. Now I don't remember what it was, but like. Yeah, I, 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 I've forgotten as well. You said something, and I was just like, that sounds familiar, but I had no idea. I was like, I know it's a quote, but I cannot place it for the life of me. Yep. So like, <laughs> well, yeah. well, I, the fans can uh, scrub through the entire episode again and uh, give us the name of the movie because I've forgotten what the quote was uh, totally. It just popped out of my mind. Mm. Uh, I'm also in uh, Fire Strike on Mondays, where I play Lee, who's short and uh, strong and does kung fu, and who still backed away slowly as I watch, I witnessed Amy commit her first war crime. Yay! Yay! She's indoctrinated to the channel! Yeah, I'm that. Other than that, if you guys uh, want to... Want to learn about uh, BDSM and the darker parts of human sexuality? Just listen to my podcast, computerking.buzzsprout.com. Hey. hey. All right. Excellent. What's the, what's the name of the podcast? Into the Dark with the Computer King. Okay. Excellent. And with that being said, let's actually go to, uh, hey, let's go to Amy. I'm Amy Geddon. Today I played Cash. She keeps pushing the GM's buttons so that she can get herself a fancy, dancy super weapon that I would never use to hurt anybody. I just like to make friends. Um, and also, all my battle buddies keep dying, so it just feels appropriate to find <laughs> something stronger. I can't die. <laughs> so that with you, I say no more than anyone else? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the imagination. You are cyberpunks, though. It is. Yes, we are. It's bad. So, yeah, this was fun. I'm so happy that this shit worked. I'm very excited to try it out. I don't know how long it'll last. I'd like to say forever, but I'm not that clever. So, um, I know. I know it won't because that's just not great storytelling. Just be like, oh, it's on. It worked. Like, that's. Unless it is. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Uh, so I'm also uh, in Fire Strike on Monday. I play Vesa. She's going through some shit. And um, I'm going to take a page out of Gunner's book. And when there's an opportunity, 
to be morally bankrupt, I'm going to roll a d2 and see if I choose to be morally bankrupt. Um, that feels right. Also, yes, I murdered a... I didn't... Vesa murdered a lot of people on Monday. And uh, yeah, there might be more. There were a lot. Of pe- they weren't people. They were soulless husks. They, were, they weren't people. They weren't people. They were living and breathing, but they had no thoughts of their own. There was no hope of survival for them. It felt right. It was fine. I'm justifying the bad. I was going to say, me. you didn't do what you did because of that. You did it for the oh, fun. <laughs> I absolutely did it for the fun of it. You're right. I went full bad guy for a second. But that's okay. Maybe not anymore. We'll see. Um, all right. Excellent. That brings us to Daniel. What up? It's me. I've played scene. Oh, God. I might have to, like, <sighs> I have to deal with Lucky. Okay. Like, I got to be the one that's got to figure this out. Cause Scab's doing a terrible job. Yeah, I, I got to. I got to. Our boss is coming unhinged. I, I got to do something. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and we're about to go take down a super fucking, we're, we're going after RoboCop. And, dear God. It's terrifying. And but we're gonna get a lot of money if we survive, so there's that. Um so let's see, beyond that, you can catch me for the fire strike where I play Oliver Byrne, who, you know, if if if, if it can't cure her, he can at least help turn her into the next Queen of Venom. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be so cool. Like let let's let's feed this this anger and this rage and have bring the queen of venom about. I mean, she would be a terrifying uh, addition to our crew. I'm just saying. But you will, would never trust me. Again. They will get over. It. You're not that queen of venom. You're a different one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fully capable of doing everything the last one did, but you know. But yeah, <laughs> with, a, with a great moral compass, which isn't actually there right now. That's great. Yeah. But yeah, that that that's that's it for me right now. Absolutely, Gunner Cyrus, it's your go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You know what happened today? Scav was being dramatic, so uh-huh. I looked him in the eye and said. I have scaled the tallest mountains, gone to the deepest parts of the deepest, tallest forests. I have scoured the bottom of the oceans, and nowhere, nowhere did I find a single fuck to give. You can also find me on... Insane! You know that? (laughs) What's that? You're insane! You know that? You can also find me on Monday playing Twinkle Bailey, the good guy in this situa- situation somehow, because everyone else is morally fucking bankrupt. Mike mentioned, filled me in on what happened Monday, and um, I just had this to say. Twinkle will probably tell everyone um, after saving the world, Zai, we probably shouldn't see each other ever again because you've lost your way. Vesa, you and I definitely should never see each other ever again, because uh, if you do, well, if we if we are in the same room, uh, one of us isn't walking out of there. That's just kind of the way it's going to have to be. So, um, that's unfortunate. Well, I asked you to have a conversation with Withaki, and I, you, you didn't did. respect me enough to have a conversation with Withaki. No, she, that's she not did. true. She did. I tried. No, and, that's but, but not exactly some, what happened. It was after some difficult stuff, and you phrased it pretty sassy. I know. <laughs> I was super sassy about it. And then yeah, Wazaki was like, nah, fam, not right now. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm still going to address, like, I'm still going to have the conversation with him. I was totally going to have the conversation if, with him. I was if not- I remember correctly, it went, hey, are you going to have this conversation? And then Withaki went, I think you've had it already with everyone else. If you have some remorse to give, I'd love to tell you that conversation. And you said, oh, you're looking for remorse? Well, I guess we're not having that conversation. 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep, that's so, what she said. That's so, uh, exactly what she said, Amy. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I just yeah. love that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Twinkle is, uh, well, being disappointed didn't work. So we'll have to figure something else out. Anyway, you can also find me every other. Her. What's that? I don't think you should give up on her. <laughs> I think she's given up on herself, and at that point, there's nothing I can do. Anyway, uh, you can find me... Boyfriend. Boyfriend help will bring her back. Boyfriend help. Well, Aww. Xander, get to work on that, because uh, you got some work to do. Anyway. <laughs> because, uh, you, damn. You can find me... Um, uh, uh, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Uh, ooh, playing. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, playing in uh, Gloom Gloomfall uh, as Marshall Stark, uh, the Butler. Uh, there's Twinkle in Mondays, and that brings us right back to Thursday. So that's me. Hmm. All right. Excellent. That brings it to me. Hello, everybody. This is Mira, also known as Mike, also known as win 5 Game one free and today, you caught me running New Amsterdam, the game where everything is going well, and the team is doing just fine. You can also catch me on Mondays, where I am in Fireshrike, where the game is going well, and the team is doing just fine. Uh, <laughs> I think Loyalty-0 put it best when he said... I told you, these people will scatter to the wind as soon as you let them. I'm starting to agree, because Withaki is not happy with this scene, and Burn Ward got fired! Um, tune in to see the repercussions of that. I don't even feel bad about spoiling that shit. Y'all need to watch this, because it's getting pretty toasty amongst the players. The DM barely has to do anything now. All the players are just yelling at each other. It's great. It's my kind of chaotic energy. I love adversarial play. Uh, so, um, you can also catch me on Sundays. Not this coming Sunday, but the next Sunday. Oh my god, I'm already having fucking withdrawals, guys. Holy fucking shit, I just really want my fucking Gloomfall fix. Because I'm playing Madam Yinbrath, and Madam Yinbrath loves developing talent. And who boy, she's about to develop some talent in some Drider's faces and see what talent develops. <laughs> um, and uh, other than that, um, if... <clears throat> you are currently watching on Twitch. We love you. Thank you so much. But you can prove your undying, devo undiv undying devotion to us by going on youtube.com forward slash paradise theater and watching us again and again and again and again and again. And if you currently happen to be watching us on YouTube, we love you. But also, why you doing, silly goose? You could be watching us live on twitch.tv forward slash pair underscore o underscore dice underscore theater. And if you happen to be a fan of the hot past and sexy world of scheduling oh yeah you also happen to be you know a community member who likes a little bit of an interactivity with and you know maybe just maybe somewhere deep within your heart and soul you like hot memes catch us at pear theater on twitter my name is mir and from all of us here Let's get a Nozdrovia and get the hell out of here. Nozdrovia.